Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Tales of Zisteria. It's your boy Color World Gaming, and you know how we do things around here. Hey. Well, well, good morning. Morning, you two. You okay? Better than before. Where is this? What happened to me afterward? You're at the inn in Lady Lake. Alicia graciously took care of the arrangements. You really were asleep for three days straight, you know? Was I? Now that Saray is awoken, why don't we all take a walk around town? I'm game. All right, let's go. He's finally awake. Thank goodness. Oh my, he's younger than I thought. It's the shepherd! Literally an overnight celebrity. Indeed, he is. Hey! So what did we receive? We received the divine artifact, you say? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, all right. Hat style fire seraph. Oh, no. I think we're good, but we received a couple of uh, titles as well, right? Let's see. That's not what we do it. That's not... What, what do you have, though? Flicker flame... Okay. Maybe I'll start playing as another character instead of, you know, just going with the main character. Because that's usually how I play it. I just stick with Sori, Lloyd, you know, whatever. The, the main characters of these games, basically. I never switch things up. But maybe we should do that. Where did my sword go? We need to go to that guard. He took my shit. Sword Harrier is still gonna give me Shatterfang. But listen, though. Maybe that defense isn't a bad thing. But it's like, just don't get hit forehead, basically. I kind of want to get the freezing strike, but we'll, we'll keep it as is. We'll keep it as is. And y'all, paper wielder. Oh. Okay. Now you're a caster as well, so I mean, it makes more sense. Proficiency three. Maybe I work on my proficiency? Or do we just go with this? Let's go with this. You don't need the physical attacks. And you, Mr. Staff Wielder. Again, it would make more sense for you to go with this. Water caster, go. Okay. So I reckon we're good. Do we have any skits? We do not. I just saved my game, so it doesn't matter. Sorry for all the trouble. <sighs> not even. What's done is done, so don't worry about it. More importantly, you've been zonked out for three days, so I'm guessing you're still a bit, you're still a little bit groggy. Take it easy for a bit, okay? All right, man. Appreciate you and shit. Can you I must be you? hungry, kind shepherd. I'll fix you up something at once. My man. Thank you, sir. But I'm actually stepping out for a bit. Oh really? Well then, I'll get it ready for when you come back. Don't worry about the bill. It's the least I can do for the shepherd. Really? Thank you so much. I'll be back in a little while. So my meal better be ready when I get back, yeah, I'm sizzling. <laughs> but now I can get used to this. But with fans, you get haters as well, so... There's almost no one out. I guess it's still pretty early in the morning. Like the you Chancellor. Are... I just felt strange all of a sudden. Like a weird pressure was crushing down on my chest. What? You can sense it already? What you're feeling is the malevolence all around us. Now that you've become my vessel, you can sense it. This is proof that your body has already grown accustomed to my power. You don't say. You mean there's really that much malevolence out there, even beyond the city? Indeed. And this is only a taste. As people start to crowd the streets, you'll feel it even more. Come this way. But I kind of want to go the other way. Wait, stop. Cease your walking. Stop it. Fuck, man, she's off. Yeah, she's still going, dude. I mean, we know roughly where she's going. 
Might just leave her to it. When do you think she will realize that we haven't moved at all? It's gonna go the other way. What you mean? Oh, game, you suck so much. I wanna talk to this guy, though. You can bitch your ass. Is she going to Alicia's house or back to the sanctuary? Let's find out, shall we? I kind of want to say it's around here. Did I stop playing? I mean, there is a... No. Oh, man. What a gorgeous lake. It's the next dungeon. Let's put it like that. It truly is. But amidst the spectacular scenery, the town of Lady Lake is being corrupted by malevolence. Yeah, now that I can sense it, I can feel the corruption everywhere. We can't let this go on. It isn't just happening here in Lady Lake either. It's eating away at the entire world. The scenery may be splendid, but you can feel that this place lacks the blessing of the Seraphim, can you not? Yeah, in Elysia, I could always feel Gramps's blessing. But here, nothing. But Lila... This little walk of yours isn't just to reconfirm the situation in Lady Lake with us, is it? You've got something to tell us. Yes, I touched on it before, but now I must clarify to you. The true purpose of the Shepherd. The Shepherds can quell the Hellions, beings who bring chaos to humans and Seraphim alike, with the power of purification. That is the power of the Shepherd. However, that in and of itself is not the Shepherd's duty. What the Shepherd must quell is the source of all malevolence, the being who gives rise to the Hellions. The Lord of Calamity. The, the Lord, Lord of, of Calamity? Calamity? Yes, this figure has been known by this name for countless centuries. Whenever Hellions run rampant, this figure is always there. A Lord of Calamity, who begets Hellions with the overwhelming amount of malevolence he possesses. Given enough time, a Lord of Calamity can even permanently alter the world itself. Such is the Calamity he brings. Wait, if I remember correctly, the Celestial Record said that a Shepherd hasn't appeared for the last 200 years. And 200 years ago, there are records that the world was overcome by an unprecedented calamity. Could there be a connection? I understand. So, the Lord of Calamity is the source of all the malevolence, and it's the duty of the Shepherd to find and put a stop to him. That's all well and good, but where is this guy? For now, it is enough so long as you understand the duty of the Shepherd. Huh? The answers you seek are those you must discover for yourself, Saray. Answers of your own that you will not regret. Stay true to yourself. Forget not your duty, but be not a slave to it either. Answers of my own. And to that end, Saray. I know you want to ask about the effects the Lord of Calamity has on this world and how Earth Dwellers and Seraphim go about their lives, but... I want you to discern these for yourself. It's true that I'm completely clueless when it comes to just about everything in the world. I want you to travel the world and discover all sorts of things. Only then can you take the answers you have found for yourself and make a stand against the Lord of Calamity. Hmm. <sighs> It's not that tricky a concept. Pretty much boils down to, hey, Saray, let's take a trip around the world. Yes. Got it. Anyhow, can we start by investigating some food? Talk about calamity. I'm gonna pass out. Shall we head back to the inn? I don't want to have to carry our shepherd around. Sure. Also, do you need a shower, bro? What the fuck was that head scratching?
Ah, you want fucking? This is nothing, and I believe we already interacted with this monolith right here. Yeah. Now that we have a third party member, I kind of want to leave town and explore to see if I've missed anything. I bet I have. Also, I want to see if I can start chaining enemies. So we can start getting some gear up in here. But for now, let's just follow the lead. Go back to the inn, get ourselves a nice English breakfast, maybe. You know... I've always wanted to travel the world. But I never imagined it'd be so important. It's kind of weird. But I can't say I'm not excited. <laughs> I think it's safe to say you're probably the most, uh, sheltered shepherd in history. You really think so? Or are you speaking from hey, experience? Lala, what kind of people were the other shepherds? Huh? Oh, sorry. I missed what you said. Well, you caught it now. What are the other shepherds like? I missed what you said. Lila? Bitch. Yes. Hiding something? Yes. Oh my! Isn't this lovely weather? Looks like she doesn't want to talk. Can I ask why you won't answer? I, I have forged an oath with myself. So long as I uphold that oath, I may wield certain extraordinary powers. However, the terms of the oath also prohibit things. Y'all smell that? So wait, does that mean there are certain things you can't discuss? Smells like bullshit, like dude! Powers, I assume you mean the power of purification? Oh wow, look at the pretty butterfly. Fuck your butterfly. You're kind of bad at this, aren't you? Does it really matter? We're traveling the world to find these answers anyway, after all. So we need to go investigate each land's shepherd myths? Yes, yes, yes! That's a thousand percent correct! Can other Seraphim besides you wield the power of purification? We should get back before Sir Ray collapses from hunger and we have to sneak his body through the back alleys. Wow. We better get going. Chop, chop! No time to waste! The food is probably ice cold by now. <laughs> and Let's she's inside going. me again. That's fucked up. The definition of a JRPG, the definition of it. Ah. Welcome back, kind shepherd. Your meal is waiting for you. Thanks a bunch. All right, let's eat. What you got for me, dog? Phew, that was good. It really hit the spot. <laughs> you ate like a champ. It was delicious. You sure you don't want me to pay for it? Of course I am. Thanks so much, sir. Oh, I have something for you. A gift arrived from Lady Alicia. Huh? What could it be? Huh. It's a letter. My sword. Bags and... Clothes? It's not a gift if it was mine to begin with. Ah, perfect timing. Don't go get changed, you kind of smell. <laughs> Alright then. You smell like farts! Oh my! Not bad. How about it? It looks fantastic on you, Lord Shepherd. It really does. So dashing. Oh man! I want one! It's the garb of the shepherd handed down from tradition in Lady Lake. You wear it well. So you can put lipstick on a pig. Just a minute, Miklio. You're jealous. Yeah, you wish. So those other guys, so what's the, letter all about? the innkeeper and the townsfolk. Well, let's see. They can't Dear see this Ray, interaction. I was surprised that you fainted so suddenly. I hope your rest at the end was rejuvenating. When I learned that you can communicate with Seraphim, beings of divine nature who cannot be seen by ordinary people. When I saw you draw the sacred blade from the Lady of the Lake and quell the riot at the festival before my eyes. My heart leapt with joy, the likes of which I've never known. 
The only thing I can think of to tell you is a sincere, heartfelt thanks. I hope you do not find this strange. Though I do think that my true feelings do not come across well in a letter. I know that, as the Shepherd, you are soon to embark on a journey to save the world. But once you are awake, I would like you to come and visit me at my home. P.S. Did you have a chance to try on the clothes I got for you? They're modeled after the traditional garb of the legendary Shepherd. I hope they are to your liking. My, what a kind-hearted young woman. Yeah, seriously. I should be the one who's thanking her. Why not do it in person, then? Good idea. Let's move. Come back and see us again, kind shepherd. You bet I will. Where did my save point go? Surely there must be some skits now. Yeah. So, I really am a shepherd now. But going up against the source of all malevolence, this Lord of Calamity, that's a huge responsibility to take on all at once. You sound like you just heard about it. Didn't you talk to Lila at all while I was zonked out? Nope. I tried to bring it up, but he insisted on waiting until you woke up. He spent the whole time with his nose in his books instead. What? Why? It was more efficient for Lila this way, that's all. But still, you sat around reading for three days straight? You could have gone out to explore the city some more. What does it matter? I was worn out from the battle anyway, and, and I just had stuff I wanted to read, okay? <laughs> it's okay. You've always been this way. Like when I got hurt and couldn't go exploring for two weeks. You waited the whole time rather than go without me. You're so conscientious, Miklio. Yeah, it's really okay. I wouldn't mind if you went and had a little fun of your own. Seriously, I'm fine. They were good books, and I wanted to read them. Sheesh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> you could have fucking leveled up a little bit if you really wanted to be useful. As it's all saying. The armor shop had both a ceremonial sword and staff. Also, there's something I kind of wanted to ask you. Yeah, I know. You want to ask if this staff looks like it's floating in midair to humans. Is that it? How do you know? One look in your eyes says it all. Even if it's an item that humans can see, when Seraphim infuse mana into it, it will become unrecognizable by humans. The opposite is true as well. Anything made by a Seraph can be recognized by humans if mana gets infused in that item. Although, it's kind of a rare ability. So Gramps' pipe is like that? Quite perceptive of you. In fact, Gramps told you everything you just told me, didn't he? That's also quite perceptive of you. Um, bonuses. Ooh. I mean, first time guest, so that means maybe I should. Let's get that grilled sweet fish. Uh. Oh man, this is the best food I've had in ages. Yeah, a quality inn and a quality restaurant, all in one. Smart combination there. I have a feeling we're going to be regular customers. Miklio, do you eat? <laughs> Sometimes he even breathes. What she means is, Seraphim don't actually have to eat to survive. What? But you, Gramps, everyone back in Alicia ate food all the time. Gramps said that it was because we wanted you to experience life like a human. Oh. I... I didn't know. But even without that, I eat because food tastes good. Also, you can Seraphim taste food. still have all the same taste buds as humans. Many of us wind up enjoying food simply for the rich sensory experience. Especially those who are close to humans. How about you, Lila? I... I used to. Long ago. Then why don't you eat with us? Yeah, that sounds great. After all, we've got a long journey ahead of us. Very well. If you don't mind, I'd be happy to join you. I thought she was gonna cancel with because we're not close. We're not friends. We're acquaintances. We are companions on a journey together. That's all. Once this is over, we go separate ways. You go left, I go right. <laughs> what y'all got? Okay. So let me just see if I can uh, get out of town or 
if I can somehow upgrade my equipment because that part of the game Man, is still a little bit iffy. More mobility than I thought. They look purely ceremonial at first glance, but it turns out they're practical. Quite so. Perfect for the journey we're about to undertake. Thanks for your input, Lila. Whoa. Views. Right. So in theory, oh. I could fuse this and that, but what, how would that affect my current progress? Ancient earrings plus one. Would it make any difference if I did it in a different order? Listen, Rockland chain. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it makes a difference, but I'm gonna go with this. Boom. That's good, right? I reckon. And then we have the natural waistcoat. And of course, now, now I look at what y'all got. And this is guys, Amber Staff. Hmm, maybe, maybe. But uh, if I could just leave town for a quick moment, that would be super swell. Because I believe I missed something out there. And I don't know if I can see it, but let's see. Let's try, let's try doing it like this. Um, this area right here, maybe? No, that's not what I'm looking for. Crucibles of malevolence, shops, inns, towns, dungeons. Okay, I don't think I can see it. However, what type of duty are you on? Lila. Health maintenance. Steadily recover HP while moving. It will alert you when someone's HP is significantly low. Huh. That sounds pretty cool to me. Let's rack it. I'll take a quick trip around and then we will rejoin once I'm done. Alright. So here we are in the nobles district after that little skit that we missed. Uh, let's go ahead and see. Is this Alicia's house again? Cameraman, I can't. Ah, the shepherd. Have you need of Lord Alicia? She's on the terrace as we speak. Thanks, I'll see if I can find her. Yeah, take care of yourself, Artorius. Saray, you came. Alicia. I came. Shepherd's garb looks wonderful on you. Thanks. Some fine lipstick on that pig. Yes, Mikleo. We all know your opinion. Motherfucker, that's the second what? time you said it. Nice. I, uh, I take it there's a seraph present with you? If I told you there was, would you believe me? To be honest, up until the events that took place at the Sacred Blade Festival this year, I wouldn't have. But even from the moment we met, I could tell... How can I put it? There was something... Something... Different about you. Uh, <laughs> well, she's right, you know. Say something about a pig again. Do it. Right here is a seraph. His name is Miklio. Please, find it in your grace to forgive my rudeness up until now, Seraph Mikleo. Rudeness? You've never struck me as rude. You blushing? He says you've never done anything to offend him. And this here is Lila. She's the one everyone calls the Lady of the Lake. I truly believe in my heart that you were meant to become the Shepherd. Whereas I, I mean all of us here in the city, can be standing right next to Seraphim, and still not know. That's not quite true. She can't hear you. Saray, try taking Alicia's hand in your own. Huh? Oh, sure. Alicia, give me your hand.
Like this? Testing, testing. Check one, check two. Can you hear me? Hello? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. Okay then. Saray, try closing your eyes. Testing, testing. Alicia, can you hear me now? It's still no good. Maybe if we this hold time, hands? Close your eyes and also hold your breath. Jesus Christ, want me to kiss her as well, mate? Alicia? I can hear it. Another woman's voice. Really? <laughs> Alicia, we Seraphim are able to see right into the very hearts of humans. Remember to show gratitude to all things. It is in exchange for this gratitude that we offer our blessing. Oh, shut your fucking no face, mate. No circumstances, never neglect the Seraphim, or your heart shall turn to malevolence, and this in turn shall bring calamity. Fear not, Alicia. We have indeed seen your gratitude for ourselves. <laughs> uh, Saray, one more time. No, no more times. <sighs> Isn't there a better way to do this? I'm afraid this is the only method we have for now. Once you've grown more accustomed to my power and have amassed more experience as both a vessel and a shepherd, I believe such a strict sensory block will not be required. So, does that mean once I do grow stronger as a shepherd, everyone will be able to hear the Seraphim? As for Alicia, she already possessed a natural resonance from birth. Though nowhere near as much as you, Saray. I see. It looks like it's not that simple. You can let go of me now, by the way. Regardless, I was able to have a conversation with her. I now have no doubts that the Seraphim do indeed live among us. And that alone... Gets you excited? Yes! Alright! The legends are no mere fairy tales. Okay. I the fucking Alicia, cameraman just fucks off after a while, doesn't he? Let me know if you need anything. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, no. You too. I'm um, sorry. Looks like our explorer is all fired up. Relax, those ruins aren't going anywhere. What? How did you know what I was thinking about, Nicleo? Didn't I tell you I wasn't going to let you go off by yourself? So what's the plan? Let's have another look around town. There's got to be a clue around here somewhere. Okay. <laughs> you stop laughing inside of me, all right? You shut up. Okay. So first order of business. According to my handy dandy guide here, we have a couple of jobs we can do, right? Because I don't want to miss nothing. That's part of the charm with um, Tales of Games for me. Like, the amount of content to do and how much of it that is like actually missable. I, I feel like I've already missed a couple of skits. Hey, it's the guy from before. Just like I told you. Yeah, I thought it might be, huh? But I know what this is about. Kind of regretting selling that knife to us, aren't you? It was pretty high quality after all. We were worrying you might have done it by mistake. But we gotta make a living out here too, you know? So there's gotta be certain conditions. So if you do us a favor, we'll give you the we'll give you the knife back, you know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. Uh distribute merchandise to the weapon shop. Let's do it. Alright, this will be a tough job. I want you to deliver the goods behind me to the weapon shop. Okay. Yes. Whoa, oh, that's heavy. Okay, thanks, info box. You're just going to wear yourself out running around with that heavy load. Hmm. 
Oh lordy me. Did I get it? Can I... Did I get it? Do I have the heavy load on me as we speak? This is the maximum speed. Oh. Fuck me sideways, dude. This is horrible. Chipmunk voice? Chipmunk voice could be a thing here. What is the purpose of this? You want your knife back? You're gonna bust your ass. What you fucking think? This is DHL or some shit, brother? UPS? Huh? Yo, Mickley, you wanna spot me, brother? Like... This is the absolute worst. Job number two, walk around town for 20 minutes like this. I wish there was a fast forward button up in this motherfucker now. Mm-hmm. Yo, take this shit, please. Well, look who it is. I've been waiting for your ass. Those must have been heavy, no? Would you mind putting them inside that treasure chest? What? Treasure chest. Put the weapon parts in the treasure box. Thanks much. Shut up. Put some fucking effort into it, please. Without the right materials, there is no making any weapons. And then BAM! We are the business. Ever since the government enacted their damn trade restrictions, we've been relying on sparrow feathers almost entirely. I consume them. Um, talk. Y'all, y'all want to chat, babe? No. Also, is there any any skit? No. No skits. Sucks. Which is weird because there should have been one, but maybe because I did the job now, maybe, maybe since I activated that job, it, um, I got locked out of it. Sucks, man. Alright, what else you got for me, man? Oh. So, no more? Okay. Uh, so we got that. Let's go ahead and, hmm. That. Now I've grasped this area is quite well. Watch it. There's someone suspicious afoot. Is it a turtle hellion? The hell do you mean turtles hellion? I'm just a turtles. How fucking old you shit, motherfucker? You sound like 50. Turtles? So wait a minute. Are they... Seraphim? Turtles are turtles. Can't you tell from looking at us? Oh, uh... Sorry. The fucking no doofus? That has such turtles in it. Ain't you ever seen a turtles before? No. What are you, some bumpkins? <laughs> Well, lucky for you guys, we turtles are a forgiven bunch. Well, thank you. <laughs> you guys sure are kind. Of course. The big-heartedness of the turtles is proportional to the size of our shells. And what were you doing here? I'm making maps for our purposes. Oh, maps. Come to think of it, we don't have any decent maps. The one in the Celestial Record is quite old. You guys sure are reckless. Says, can I sell you some of my maps? They're chock full of useful informations. Thanks. It's a big help. Sure. Thank you. I'm darn pleased that you bought my maps. Uh -huh. 
discrepancies. Right. Anything else you got for sale? What are the um, X's? Could that be um, the landmarks or the points of discovery? He didn't respond when the roll call was taken. You don't think he's still down there in the waterway, do you? An underground waterway. Sounds worth looking into. So one of them hasn't returned yet. I wonder if he's okay. And I believe it was... Are you going? Yeah, I'm worried about anyone who isn't coming back. Saray. You can feel it, can't you? I can. There's definitely strong malevolence coming from the center of town. I must say, your ability is indeed impeccable. Thank you. It looks like you're acclimating to your power already, far faster than I'd even imagined. I am? The day when you will come into the true power of the Shepherd is not far off. What kind of power is that? Oh, oh, sorry about that. You were saying? Well, we'll find out soon enough. Yep. Alright, so it was here. I never made it out of this dungeon, to be honest. Uh, because I got stuck, like, trying to get all the weapon drops, all the gear drops, fusing them, and I got into that whole, whole mess trying to mix and match but i don't think it's worth it in the early game i mean you're you're always gonna be trading equipment in the next town or next dungeon so it's 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 not worth spending that much time as i did the first time playing around maybe that's gonna help me um in this playthrough because i'm not gonna spend as much time either way i think we're gonna call it an episode right here and next episode we're gonna take care of the first dungeon of the game and no skits all right cool I'm gonna see you then, alright? I'm outta here. Love y'all. Deuces.